So I kind of cut my hair. The hair we speak of is currently in hiding. It's not ready to reveal itself yet, but don't worry, it will be revealed. It will have its moment to shine. All the footage of me cutting my hair is coming up. I just have a few things to say beforehand. And this video was gonna be just straight me in the bathroom cutting my hair. That was gonna be the whole video, but I was kind of in a really bad mood when I cut my hair. That was kind of part of the reason why I cut my hair. So some of the footage is really boring and me just complaining and it's not very fun to watch. So that's why currently is here now to explain what that mean a bad mood was thinking. So I'd been in a bad mood for a few days that had nothing to do with my hair But I just kept feeling like I want to chop it off. It's too long. I hate how long it is My hair it grows very very quickly The length of my hair was at my shoulders at the start of 2020 and by the end it was like at my waist That's how quickly my hair grows. Some people's hair may grow faster But I feel like I don't personally know anybody else's hair that just grows like that So because of this in my life, I've always pretty much always had long hair like it's just kind of unavoidable You go a few months without going to the hair hairdresser and suddenly it's this much longer. Anyway, so at some point in the past couple months, I decided that it was just looking too long. Well, kind of, because the thing was, when I looked at my hair in the mirror, I was like, oh yeah, it looks okay. Like I didn't love it, but it looked okay. But the second I looked at my hair in a video, in a TikTok, in a photo, I was like, why is it so long? Like other people seem to have long hair and it just looks amazing. And whenever I have long hair, I feel like it just looks like there's like a shower curtain on my head. And so every time I looked at a TikTok and every time I was editing a YouTube, video it would just frustrate me so much I was like it's too long it looks too long it looks so gross so I knew I wanted it cut shorter for a while I didn't know how much shorter I wanted it cut but I really didn't want to go to the hairdresser now living in Melbourne living in Australia we're very lucky in the past couple months our hairdressers have been open so I could very safely go to a hairdresser to get my hair cut but like I just really don't like going to the hairdresser and last time I had a haircut it was really good actually it was fine the lady was really nice but most of the time I just hate the whole experience of going to the hairdresser because first of all you have to call up and you have to book an appointment and phone calls just just no and booking an appointment then I have to like schedule in a specific time and I feel like my whole day whatever the day is just feels like revolved around this whole appointment like I've seen other people talk about this but if I have an appointment in the afternoon I'll literally just sit around all day waiting for the appointment like I feel like I can't do anything until I've got this appointment out of the way and if I have an appointment in the morning I literally can't sleep that whole night because I'm stressing I'll be late for my appointment so appointments in general just aren't my fave kind of thing and then hair appointments, just like by the nature of hair appointments, because they kind of last for a while, there's always so much small talk and I hate it and they're always like asking you about your life and like what you're doing and it's just like, I don't like it, I'm here to get my hair cut, I don't want to talk about my life. And the hair appointment always takes like an hour, even when I'm just getting a straight cut across the bottom of my hair, it takes so long because they have to wash your hair. And for me, my head is allergic to like most shampoos. So I have to bring my own shampoo and then it's this whole awkward thing of me asking them if they can use my shampoo and them being like oh why can't you just use the shampoo we have here and it's this whole thing and I hate it and then once they finish washing your hair the cutting your hair is actually fine the cutting your hair usually takes about five minutes and then they have to dry your hair which if your hair's like mine it holds like even though my hair's not that thick it just holds so much moisture it takes like seven hours to dry so then I'm just sitting there for like 20 minutes while they blow dry my hair and it's just it's just really not an enjoyable experience for me so these were the factors leading into me deciding that I would cut my hair myself and then one weekend, this weekend that just passed, I was in a really bad mood and I was like, I'm just gonna do it. I just wanna cut my hair. I just wanna cut my hair. I don't even care. I'm gonna cut it. I don't care. And then this is what happened. So you do it like this. So then I need a second hair tie so that when I cut the hair, it doesn't just fall over the bathroom floor because that would not be fun to clean up. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. I don't know if I wanna do this anymore. I have never cut my own hair. You can probably, you've probably, Probably figured that much out. I don't know, hair just always felt like a forbidden thing to like cut, you know? Like I wouldn't even cut my Barbie's hairs. I didn't even have Barbies, what am I talking about? I honestly had Kelly dolls, but wouldn't even cut their hair. And I'm kind of terrified right now. I think I'm gonna cut it this much. Okay, let's just do it. I haven't actually told my family that I'm doing this, so. I know what they're gonna think. What's my dog gonna think? These are the scissors I'm using. They're literally just scissors I found on my desk. It probably would've been smart to invest in like some hair cutting scissors. Obviously I didn't do that. Oh my god, what if this is a huge disaster and I actually have to go to the hairdresser and I have to explain that I cut my own hair? But that would be so many to just cut under the elastic and just like defeat the whole point of having it here. No, we need to cut on top. Oh no, that's gonna be way too short. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm stressed and it's start all over. Okay, so if we do this really tight here, because we basically, we need these two to be matching and it's gonna be straight. Oh my god, let me not miss any hair. Just have oh my god, what is this? Imagine if I just like missed a whole chunk of my hair and I just had a very long random bit of hair. Honestly, this is not a bad look. Oh my god, was 
I not just talking about this? What are you doing? Get with the program. Okay, now we're ready. Up to two like sweating. Like, this is stressing me out. Okay, let's just do it. I'm gonna do it. I saw people were doing like this to, so they could get it straight. So you cut like right beneath your finger. But like I don't have enough hands to figure this out. Because then I just have one hand to control the scissors. Wait, that's how you normally use scissors. I'm really like shaking. This is actually stressing me out so much. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Do I look at the hair? Do I look in the mirror? What am I doing? Hey! <coughs> Imagine if I had just sneezed when I had just tried to cut my hair. That would have been a disaster. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. I, I feel I feel very uncoordinated. I was going to say discoordinated. I don't know how to speak English and now I'm waving scissors around. It's a stressful time. Okay, so I'm just going to cut right there. Cut. Oh my god, I can hear it cutting! Oh my god, I did such a bad job of that. Oh my god, oh my god, that's my hair. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Oh my god, my hair died. Let's see. I need someone to tell me it looks good like right now. That's kind of shorter than I thought it was gonna be. Is that how long I wanted it? Not too late now. Oh my god, what am I meant to do with this? See, look at this. Like, that, that is what I did. So like, can you imagine what the hair looks like? Like, sitting right here, it doesn't look that bad, but um, obviously something went wrong in there. I feel kind of sick. I kind of wish I didn't cut it. But we're, we're all in now. We have to do the other one. This one should be easier. I did that one even worse. Oh my god, that was so bad. That was so bad. Like, this is it. This is it. Oh, that was terrible. I cut it like on a complete thing. Okay, let's see how it looks. So, here's what we have. This one actually kind of looks fine. No, it doesn't. This one, oh my god, what have we done? Okay, I actually like it more already, even with the uneven. Oh my god. I did such a bad job. Like, what is happening here? I don't even, I don't even know how big this is. Okay, there's this like bit here that I can clearly see is like slightly longer than the rest. I'm just gonna take care of that. And now I have hair all over the floor. Okay, so that one looks fine. That actually looks good. It's so much better. Like, my mood just lifted like 800%. I suddenly like feel like I don't hate myself anymore. Like, that looks good. I got the news. Oh my god, how am I gonna fix this though? Because, like, it is this much shorter than the rest of my hair. Maybe I was just going for layers. How does it look on the back? I can't see. You'll have to tell me how it looks on the back. Do I cut all my hair to make it as short as this bit? Because that's the only way I'm going to make it straight. Why is this bit so much longer? Okay, we need to... Oh, that's weird. If you put it behind your ears, it's obviously going to be longer. This is why you don't cut your own hair. Maybe it is why you cut your own hair. Because, like, I'm just, like, such a better mood than when I started this video. But what do I... Oh, what do I do about this? I just leave it. It does look that bad, does it? Can you even tell? Okay, so let's just go like this. You see, that's what I mean. You need, like, two hands to do this to hold your hair firm. And then one hand for sniffing. I'm sure it's an octopus. Like, I have an octopus squish melon every day. I'm like, I'm sure it's my octopus. She can do so many things at once. I also wish I was my octopus because she just sits on my bed all day. I don't know how to fix this. I don't want to cut all my hair to be that length. But like that's something way I'm gonna make it straight. Oh my god, I'm gonna have so much cleaning up to do. I'm just dropping this all over the floor. That's so gross. I think I made it look worse. Hair is so weird. Don't you think? This is so weird. I feel really grossed out by my own hair right now. I'm just gonna cut this side to be slightly shorter because then it will match that one and then my hair will look gray. My hands are too shaky for this. I could never be a hairdresser. Oh, this, this is more comfortable. You see, I can do this. I feel like it looks uneven. This is kind of fun. And you forget that it's like hair. Oh my god, do I do it? Do I make it straight? No, it's still slightly longer. It's actually much easier if you look at the hair. I don't know why I've been looking in the mirror this whole time. Oh wait, if you look at your own hair, it like changes. Oh, I'm so dumb. How's it look behind? This side is like a lot longer. So I'm gonna cut a bit more off this side. And this little friend here, what are you doing? Snip, snip. Did I just get hair all over? Oh, I did. Oh, this jump's gonna be so hairy. I didn't even think of that. I'm gonna literally not do this. See, I'm just too uncoordinated. Oh my god, I just got so much hair in my sink. This is gonna take me like three hours to clean the bathroom. This wasn't worth it. Actually it was, because I still don't have to talk to a hairdresser. God guys, I think I finally did it. No, I didn't. I, I just made everything so much worse. Okay, you know what? That's done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. That like doesn't even look good. But I think it looks better than when my hair was long. So like I think this is a win.
So this is how my hair is looking now. Since filming that and since cutting my hair the initial time, I have made a few more changes to it. And by that, I mean I've cut a bit more off. So I got my sister to help out a little bit. Like I got her to do the back and there were like all these like uneven bits and this like really long bit just randomly hanging out. And then I washed my hair and it was just so much easier to see like which bits of hair were sticking out and what was even happening with the length of my hair. And I was like, this is why hairdressers cut your hair when it's wet. Not just for fun, it's because it's actually so much easier to see and control when it's wet. So in hindsight, probably should have cut my hair when it was all wet, but didn't do that anyway. I fixed it up a lot while it was wet, and this is what we have. It's not completely even, but the thing about my hair is, like, it's straight, kind of, but then it has, like, this bounce at the end. Even if it is cut completely evenly, the ends kind of all bounce up in a different angle so it's not gonna like look like 100% like straight unless I straighten it. Another mistake I realized that I made was that so I tied my hair using the four hair ties as you saw but for some reason I tied it like here like behind my ears which meant that you know when my hair is tied behind my ears it's mostly even it's not really but as best as I could do. But as soon as I put my hair in front of my ears look we've got these like little long bits that are longer than the rest of the hair. I'm on the fence about whether to cut these or not because I know when I last went to the hairdresser I did have like the front bits were a bit longer than the rest of them and if I cut them to make them even while my hair is like in front of my ears then they look so much shorter when it's behind my ears. So I'm still trying to decide what to do about that but that was probably something I should have thought about before I cut my hair. Having said that I really didn't think about any of it. I literally just watched like a three minute video and they were like yep just tie elastics in your hair and then just tie some down here and go chop chop. That was pretty much the extent of the video and the extent of my preparation for it. The other thing I've realized in this trying to make my hair even journey is that okay this is gonna sound really obvious this is gonna make me sound really stupid but like if your head is at a different angle your hair is gonna be like a slightly different length to where you cut it like if I'm looking down or I'm looking up like different parts of my hair are gonna be a different length because the hair is on a different part of my head and that's very obvious I know it's just not something I really thought about before like I was aware when I cut it that like I had to get the part right because obviously the hair on this side of my part is longer than this side of my part but the whole head angle thing I didn't really think about which led to some of the clips you saw of me just like cutting my hair like this which isn't helpful and isn't going to make it even. I'm sure some of you are looking at my hair and you're like that is so messy how can you even call that remotely even? Maybe you're a hairdresser watching this and you're just crying. And at the end of the day like my hair is even enough for me I am happy with it, I am feeling more confident, so it's a win. But yeah, overall, after cutting my hair, like immediately after cutting my hair, I actually, my mood did live so much and I felt like so much happier. But then the next day, the following day after cutting my hair, I was like, what have I done? I hate my hair, I want my long hair back, I want to glue it back on the ends of my hair. But I feel like every single time I get a haircut, I feel like that. Like no matter how much I cut off and no matter how like certain I am that I'm getting my hair cut off, like I always, I'm like, oh my God, what did I do? I want my hair back. So that's pretty normal for me and now I'm just like well, whatever it's done now Honestly when I see like little bits. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that. That needs a snip You can just go hide over there when I see little bits like that I am still doing a little bit of tidying up But overall I think now that I've recovered from the whole experience I am like mostly pretty happy with it and hey I saved money The other thing about the hairdressers is they're always really expensive Like obviously the hairdressers are amazing. They're providing a service and they do wonderful things but I'm like I could spend that money on squishmallows. I bought four on Depop the other day. I am so excited for them to arrive. They're Valentine's Day ones. Oh I can't wait. Anyway this is not about squishmallows. Actually everything comes back to squishmallows. Anyways, that was my whole experience in cutting my hair. Don't know if I'd recommend it, but it's done now. Overall, I'm definitely happier with how my hair looks now than how it looked before. So I guess it's a win. Yay. Well, that is all for today. I will see you again very soon. Bye.